introducing the Coyote IoT device management platform for building IoT applications. From initial prototyping to managing IoT devices at scale. Let me walk you through the most valuable features that can make your IoT device and data management more efficient, secure and scalable. The platform is built around the lightweight M2M standard, which is an application layer communication protocol designed for resource constrained IoT devices. And it comes with a clearly defined client to server architecture, an interoperable data format and device management capabilities, which includes firmware updates over the air. And we provide an open source SDK, which is called NJ, which comes with standard implementations for ESP32, Nordic NRF, STM, DevKit, Raspberry Pis, or any device that runs Zephyr or FreeRTOS. So to connect your device, you can use our management server directly or use our bootstrapping service, which is an intermediate server that provisions devices with keys and server configurations. So once connected, we can manage and monitor the IoT devices. So by going to the data model, we can find all the objects which contain the specific functionalities of the device. And from here, we can manage the device by, for example, executing specific functionalities like initiating a reboot or a factory reset. But we can also instruct the device on how to behave. For example, we can set a specific time interval or we can define a specific threshold value that will trigger the device to send a new update message. Key to the success of an IoT application is the ability to update the device's firmware. Leverage our developer features to accelerate IoT development. Device tests to validate new firmware by mimicking real-world scenarios. Our operations center which provide an overview of all of your devices and show alerts when anomalies are detected. Or integrations which allow you to integrate devices with popular hyperscalers like Azure IoT Hub or AWS IoT Core. Or you can connect data to your own endpoint by using Kafka or configuring webhooks. So to get started, you can create a free developer account, allowing you to connect up to 10 devices free of charge. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Lawrence and I'm wishing you all the best when managing your IoT devices.